Hello everyone. So today I'd like to show you how you can clean up the country names or you might say like standardize the country names. All right, let's take a look. Okay, here I've got United Nations resolution data. Here is a vote has like a yes or no for that particular resolution. And in this column, country has a country names. There's a two problems here uh, because country names are all uppercase. I'd rather have these to be title case. That means first letter in one word to be the uppercase and the rest should be the lowercase. And another problem though, which is more problem for me is that the country name has a bracket. I think this can be the official or formal name, but most of the time, like when you're, for example, using this data, you know, visualizing uh, by the map or bar chart or whatever, this long name is not necessarily helpful. So and another thing is, for example, here is like you know, Democratic People Republic of Korea. This is actually North Korea. So it would be nicer to have just North Korea or South Korea rather than the formal country name. And another problem is sometimes like countries like United States, that can be like US, United States, or that United States of America. Uh, there can be a different names. But you might want to have like all different combinations of the names to be always one particular name, let's say like United States or something. So that's where like you want to standardize the country names to be something that is consistent among all the possible values. Okay, so how to do that? Well, it's pretty simple, like from the column header menu. And then there's a replace values and there's a menu called convert country name code. So this UI though typically helps you to convert between the country code and the country name. For example, like JP is country code for the Japan or CN is country code for China and so on. And in that case, for example, when you have those country code, you have no, you know, most of people don't know what those codes are. So like you want to convert from the country code to the country name. But this same UI can be used to standardize a country name or clean up the country name to make it consistent. Typically, this from could be country code, can be like a letters or numbers either way. And then you want to convert that to country name, right? But in this case, I'm going to use country name from and a country name to. That sounds a little bit stupid, but it's actually this is how you can standardize the name. So if I click on a preview button, I notice that first, all the country names become the title case. And the second, all that this and becomes ampersand sign. And then another thing is when you scroll down, uh, Bolivia with the priority nation state of with bracket, that's gone just to be, just to have Bolivia. And then sometimes not just getting the name to be shorter. If, for example, country like a Congo is actually Congo Brazzaville, because I think there's another Congo related name uh, of the country. And another thing here is like uh, the Korea. So Democratic People Republic of Korea, that becomes North Korea. And here there's another Congo, Kinshasa. This is like another uh, Congo country. Okay, having said that, so these country names become standardized and also cleaned up. And if I click on round bottom, here it is. So we have those standardized country name. Okay, so as you see, you can use the UI to standardize or clean up the country names to be something that like most of your audience are familiar with. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.